Today's video is absolutely random. It makes no sense. Number ones. I completely forgot. I gotta make a video now. Um, what should I talk about? How about vegans? Yes, today I'm gonna talk about vegans. Do what? It has nothing to do with what I usually talk about. That is right. Tomorrow I'm gonna talk about apples. Yes, apples. What? I can't talk about apples. I'm gonna talk about. I can't even pronounce it properly. Apples. But I'm still gonna talk about it tomorrow. You wait. You wait. Tomorrow I'm gonna talk about apples. Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking and my goodness am I random in the choice of topics, yes, I'll give you that, I am random. But today, uh, yeah, I've just come back from the gym, as you can tell, because I've got, my goodness, yes, I'm back from the gym now and uh, I've got to make a YouTube video. See, here is the thing, there are a lot of different kinds of vegans, aren't there? I mean, you've got, you know, the... Uh, they called again um, dietary vegans yes And I have to say that with, uh, first of all, I'm not a vegan, but dietary vegans, I can, uh, you know, I can agree. And, uh, you know, they don't eat meat, they don't eat eggs, they don't eat di dairy products. Ethic vegans, ethic vegans I don't agree with. Eating an animal is wrong because you terminate their life, their lives, um, in order for you to eat, and we don't really need to. Uh, and, and, and this is a key point, though, because although I can sympathise with this idea, and I think it, it is a noble idea after all. Now, never mind those vegans that are particularly preachy and they start attacking you all the time and they call you murderers and everything. I think that's a bit too much. But um, to be honest, I can sympathise with this noble idea of we don't want to have another life form which is actually biological similar to us, biologically similar to us, to um, stop living for my nourishment, considering that we have other options. And this is important here, the idea of having other options. And I myself, I don't eat a lot of meat. I do eat meat, I'm not a vegan, but I don't eat much meat. And most kinds of meat I don't even like, to be honest. Um, but I do use a lot of dairy products and I do, eat, I'm Italian, you know, mozzarella and everything. And I do, I, I eat yogurt, for example, and I eat a lot of eggs. Although, with the eggs part, in general, vegans are against uh, the usage of eggs and everything. 
because of the industrial farming, you know, the way they have all these animals packed in, in one cage, like all the hens in one cage, and they live a terrible life, and I think that that is wrong. And in fact, I don't support these sort of industries, and I myself eat eggs from um, peasants, meaning that I've got a student of mine, and she and her, her husband, they have a farm, and in this farm they've got their own hens, who are basically, they, they treat them like pets. These hens are really happy, they live a wonderful life, they're well fed, they're protected, and so the eggs that they produce, I get. So I get my eggs from them, and I don't think there is anything wrong. In fact, but some vegan, they are like, it's like a doctrine for them, and this is what I mean to say. They are too preachy, and also, they are not willing to change when there is no reason to stick to the rule. For example, I understand the rule of eggs, not eating eggs, uh, not eating dairy products because of the way these animals are treated. I totally agree. But in the very moment that, as I said, for example, I've got a friend and I know that she treats these animals well, uh, all the animals she has, she treats them well. And I know also a couple of, anyways, um, I've got some farmers who are friends and I know that they have got, you know, their own cows and I know that they treat them well, they feed them well and these cows produce milk. And I don't think there is anything wrong with using these products if, if these animals are well treated. Now, for some people, they say no, because you're using these eggs and they, you're taking them from them and you're forcing them to do this. But it's not, you know, here's my opinion. In the very, it's an exchange and it's a fair exchange. When animals are treated well, they are well fed. They don't need to go around and look for food. You bring them the food to them and it's good food. In the situation that I'm talking about, not the industrial ones. Um, they, they have, we offer, we humans offer shelter to them. So we give them, uh, you know, shelter from uh, the weather, shelter from cold and everything. We protect them from predators because we don't want our own animals, if I can say our animals, but the animals that live with us, we don't want the animals who, that live with us to die because of predators, so they are protected from that. And in exchange, and we feed them, as we said, and in exchange, we get the, the eggs or we get milk. I think there is nothing wrong with it. It's a very natural thing. And I myself support this kind of usage of eggs and dairy products. What I don't support is when these animals are in captivity, they, they basically they are slaves and they are, really, they, they are not fed well, they're treated really badly. Th this is terrible. Like some of the things that these people do, I don't support them and I don't want my money to get to these people. So this is why I do this sort of differentiation. But So I understand all the points that vegans draw, but sometimes I think they just step outside the border when they just say, no, it's just wrong. Well, that's your opinion, but I don't agree. I don't think there is anything wrong in the very moment there is an exchange, a collaboration, a cooperation between mankind and uh, you know, the animals that you've got living with you in your farm. So again, for example, let's say that we were, historically speaking, let's say that we were in a tribe, okay? And you've got these animals living with, with the tribe. Now, hunter-gatherers, okay? In a situation where you don't know how to feed your family, then in that case, I don't see anything wrong with hunting. So if hunting is done as a something that you're doing to provide for your family because you're living in difficult times and the winter is coming, you, you're not going to be able to have um, enough food to support your children, then if you go out hunting, then I don't see anything wrong with that. I always try to keep the idea of keeping a, a, thank, uh, a, thankful, a thankful heart, considering the lives that have been taken. But of course, hunting as a sport, no, I'm against it. Because the idea of I kill a living creature for fun, then no, I don't think that that's right. So here is where I draw the line, and I think we all choose a different place where we draw the line. But what I try to say here is, 
Sometimes people say like, I'm a vegan, I'm not a vegan, I'm a vegetarian, whatever. And not even with religion, to be honest. And you take the whole package. So it's like, I'm a vegan, so these are the things I have to follow and these are the things I have to believe. But I think it's important that if there are a couple of things that I don't agree with, then I don't have to take the whole package, if, if you will. I'm not sure if you understand what the point I'm trying to draw. I think the example I gave before uh, about the idea of I don't eat eggs from industrial farming but I'm absolutely fine with eating eggs from my friends' hens. Um, I think that that is one of the points that I sort of remove a little, make a modification to the package and, and of course if you can't call me a vegan because of that, that's fine. In fact, I said I'm not a vegan. If there were a war and uh, there was a winter and I have to feed my children, I'm going out with a bow and an arrow and I'm going to hunt and I'm going to provide for my family. Uh, so again, probably not going to be a vegan because of that, of course. But in times when I, you know, it's, it's summer, eating too much meat is bad anyways for your body, you know, you might as well. You might as well not eat and I won't. So here's the thing. It's, I have my own opinion and my own approach. Also, I think when you want, if you really want to be a vegan, and if you are a vegan, then what's important to do is that you also think of your health, meaning that you can't just be a vegan and just stop eating meat and stop eating dairy, but not supply to yourself, to your body, the, the, the things you need, okay? For example, there are some kinds of vitamins, like vitamin B12, that you don't get from other things like plants, etc. So you do need to get either by supplementation or by B12 enriched foods. And there are other things like that. So I've written some examples like vitamin D, calcium, zinc, as I said, vitamin B12, long chain omega-3 fatty acids. So there are things that, you've, that you, your body needs for you to be healthy. And in the very moment that you take a decision, which I can totally respect, you know, if you're a vegan, I respect you. If you're not a vegan, I respect you as well. But whatever you choose in your life, I think it's important to also consider the consequences that that choice might have, particularly if you're also trying to br bring up your children with it. So again, B vitamin B12 fortified food is a must for someone who goes into a vegan diet. At least that's what I have read about it. That's what researchers said about it. Ultimately, I believe that the idea of um, choosing what we want to eat is definitely something that we are experiencing as children of this century. Um, people in the past, people during times of war, did not have this choice. And it is important always, I think, to remember and to be grateful for this opportunity we have to choose. Um, it is a great thing that we have we might not have in the future. You never know what's going to happen, but definitely many people didn't have in the past. I am one of those people who believes in live and let live. Like, you know, you choose your path, I respect you for that, whatever your choice. But at the end of the day, I have made my mind a long time ago. For a period I was a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for about a year. And then I stopped um, being a vegetarian and I started again to occasionally eat 
uh, either meat or sometimes tuna and that's the only kind of fish I eat for example tuna I, I, I eat nothing from the sea completely I know that it's weird because I'm Sicilian so I was brought up in an island I spent quite a lot of years in England which is another island another you know which again is surrounded by the sea and then I, I lived four years in Japan again for, surrounded by the sea so it's funny I'm I, I'm 100% an islander not Highlander, okay? I wish. But, or who knows, maybe I am a Highlander. That would explain a lot of things, wouldn't it? But still, I don't, I mostly don't eat fish because I, I really don't like it. Like, I've tried it and it's terrible for me. It tastes awful. And um, probably I have a different perception. I'm sure that we all have different perceptions of food and, and, and taste. And in my case, of course, it's that that will be the situation. Anyways, I'm curious, I, do you eat meat um, or are you a vegan or are you a vegetarian? Um, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, this was a little bit of an informal chat again uh, to let you know a little bit more about my way of thinking and my way of living. Um, if you're interested and would like me to talk about other topics like this, then please let me know in the comments below tomorrow. Apart from talking about apples, I will bring up another uh, of my usual historical topics or perhaps uh, combat topics or armors or weapons. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'll choose something interesting for tomorrow as well. Today I have got to now go cook, make some dinner, I think I'm gonna eat some pasta because I did not have pasta this, uh, this afternoon, so I do need some pasta this evening. So I'm definitely in a pasta deficit at the moment. And I will see you tomorrow for my next daily upload. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, the Metatron has spread his wings. Goodbye. Sostengo noi eroi, il gioco si fa duro e da giocare, beati loro poi, scambiano le offese con il bene, succede anche a noi, di far la guerra in vita e poi la pace. E nel silenzio mio annullo ogni tuo singolo dolore per apprezzare quello che non ho saputo.